hello everyone thank you all for tuning in in today's video we're going to see some tips that could help fix the issue of wi-fi not connecting on windows 10 so here on my computer you see the wi-fi is not connected and this computer has been connected to a network before so first thing you need to do you need to make sure that the wi-fi button is turned on you press the wi-fi button to turn the Wi-Fi on and then see if it's going to work here it's not working still you know, it may just bring up this button at the top and yet it won't work the Wi-Fi will still not be connected so the next thing you go to the start tab and click on settings then go to network and internet you click on Wi-Fi you want to check to see if the Wi-Fi is turned on if it's not turn it on next click on status scroll down and click on change adapter options we have changed your network settings here we want to ensure that the wi-fi is enabled you want to see if that is also an the issue so we're going to right click so here you see the wi-fi is enabled actually but we're just going to disable it so we'll disable it and enable it again to see if it's going to work so i'm going to give a few seconds before I need I enable the Wi-Fi again. Let me show you the Wi-Fi so, so you see it's not connected. We're going to enable it again. We just disable we disable it previously. We're going to enable it to see if that's gonna fix it. It's enabled and nothing is working still. Still not connected to any network let's see another tip go back to the start tab go click on settings and click on network and internet So the next thing you would need to check to see if the airplane mode is turned on so here we see it's off on this computer so if yours is on turn it off next you need to use a usb wireless adapter or a wi-fi network card this is the way it looks just insert it into any of the ports and then give it a moment here you see it's connected but for some people i know this doesn't work and when you even take off the usb wireless wi-fi card the internet goes off again see it's not connected anymore because i've taken off the adapter once i insert it again you see it connecting again so next we are going to see another tip we go to the start tab and click on settings go to network and internet click on it here we click on troubleshoot we want to see check to see what the problem is one good thing about troubleshooting is i could help you detect what the problem is so here we are still troubleshooting to see what the issue is 
So here it says you've not chosen any available wireless network. So I'm going to click on show me a list of available networks. By the side, um, you see the available networks. These are the available network. I just click on the, my own and connect. It's in my password. Just trying to put in my password. I want to check if it's correct. Click on next. It's verifying and connecting. Here underneath you see it's connected now. If this doesn't work, you can click on network and internet settings. And click on network reset and click on reset now say yes say are you sure you want to reset so you say yes it will bring up this tab where it says your device was shut down in five minutes so after about two minutes your device should shut down and restart so here the device is restarting see this did not work so there's another thing you could do go to the start tab again and click on settings click on network and internet then click on Wi-Fi when you click on Wi-Fi click on show available networks so here you see it's showing you just put in your password so the thing is this whole stuff keeps changing so you just need to try you know various methods to make it work you may also need to uninstall and reinstall your network drivers hope you find this video useful please remember to like share and leave a comment let's know how it worked for you here you see the wi-fi is connected thank you all for watching See you in the next video. Bye.